Hey there viewers, it's Charlie, I'm back again with another GoBots review and today's review is going to be on... Scorp! Now, despite this guy resembling the distant cousin of Scorponok, this guy's actually a monster GoBot. And the monster GoBots were pretty much the Insecticons of the GoBots in the sense that they were the sub-team of the Renegades and had insectoid-like vehicle modes. I mean, they weren't all insectoid-like, but most of them were. I mean, they didn't have the cloning abilities that the Insecticons did, but I'd classify them as Insecticon-like. But, well... Let's just let's just have a look at the figure. Oh, as his name implies, Scorpia transforms it into a scorpion, and of course, this is much smaller than Scorpionok. I mean, it's still cool looking. So, having a look at the figure. We can see the head here. I swear he's got some fangs here. And as you can see, got the uh, yellow eyes there, which I'm pretty sure is actually inaccurate for a scorpion's eyes. But this is more meant to be like a robotic. Got the claws in the front, which actually don't open. I mean, this is a, a small figure, so I guess some sacrifices had to be made. Got the back here, the tail, which can be posed. We can actually see some treads here, so this is more like a scorpion tank, which I'm pretty sure the scorpion from Transformers Energon would later borrow. I'm pretty sure that uh, there is a, a picture of, of, of all the Renegades together in Transformer Bodies. The Scorpion that picture is actually a recolor of en of Energon Scorpion arc. So, I guess the connections were that similar. <laughs> if I had the Scorpion arc from Energon, I would do a comparison, but I currently don't. Now, I, I don't think I've got any Scorpionok figures right now. I do have Fast Track, but yeah, I don't. I don't have any. I, I don't have any Scorpionok figures, so yeah. I look up here. We can see Japan, because well, this is a Machine Robo uh, figure. Oh, well, it came from the Machine Robo to toy line, and. One cool thing, unlike most of the Machine Robo figures, which just had generic names, like Psycho was Bike Robo, and Scooter was Scooter Robo, this guy, you'd think he'd be called Scorpion Robo, but no, this guy's Japanese name is Zarios, or something like that. That's a cool name. If anything, Zarios is actually a way cooler name than Scorp. And yes, I'm pretty sure all of the Monster Gobots had the same awesome Japanese style names like that. It's because in Machine Robo, the the Monster Gobots were the antagonists of the of the Machine Robo uh, series. So yeah, the vehicle guys were the protagonists. The Monster Gobots were the antagonists. So yeah, pretty weird. Well, pretty. It, it, they're pretty weird if you're used to the, the GoBots, but pretty uh, normal if you're a Machine Robo fan. But yeah, I just liked how I I, I just like how the name Zarya sounds. And I am messing up all my words t today. Well, it's 
pretty much all I have to say about the scorpion mode. I just love how it looks. And well, let's just get on to the robot mode. Well, to start, let's take the legs and move them down. And well, you can't have it like this, so he's a shorty. I'm pretty sure you're normally supposed to pull the, the legs out like this. And on my copy, that they've become quite loose with age, unfortunately. With the tail, just, I, I, I'm not sure what you do with the tail, I just have it so it's like a, a stand for the figure. It'd be cool if you could like fold it over so it could like go over the head as a cool like back cannon, but it can't do that. The claws come down to form his arms, and the scorpion head comes down to show his face. And here we have him in robot mode. And unfortunately, yeah, the legs are compressing down, so let's just keep it like this. So here we have Scorp in robot mode. And it is a simple transformation, but it's at least to a cool looking robot mode in my opinion. I mean, sure, he has a this scorpion tail hanging off the back, but well, it's still cool looking. I mean, sure, this could possibly lead to issues if you want to fit him in a power suit, if he wants to try and fit in grungy, because you know, he's a renegade, so fitting courageous would not really work that well. But aside from possibly not fitting in the power suits, this tail doesn't really bother me. A look at Scorp's head. Yeah, it does look pretty squat. And it is accurate to how he looked in the series. I mean, in the GoBot series, a lot of faces were changed for the characters, but with Scorp's face, they seem to have kept it accurate to how the toy looked, so, yeah. Okay, the legs are sort of acting up, because I'm on camera. Okay, there we go. I don't really have anything else to say, so let's just get on to the articulation. Well, I suppose if you want to, you can look up, but that just should, leads to the scorpion head showing, which I suppose you could do a fan mode, like, <laughs> if you wanted to, but yeah, there's pretty much no head, there's no head articulation. The arms can, of course, go up, so you, you can do the standard arm raised in package uh, pose. Although he does have a bit of an of a elbow joint, it looks like. A bit weird though, but... He does have a bit more arm articulation than others. The legs, of course, move, a bit loose. And that's pretty much it. So, a bit more poseable than other GoBots, but... Well, not by much. And well, that's pretty much all I have to say about Scorp. Complaints? Well, I just don't like how the legs can become loose over time. I know that it's a common thing with GoBots, but in Scorp's case, it's particularly bad. I mean, just look. I'm just glad I've got the Scorpion tail here. Or he'll probably just have way more trouble standing. Yeah, you see here how I'm struggling? Okay, there we go. So it's definitely a pain to try and get Scorp to stand if your legs are, are like my copies. 
Another complaint, although this one's way more minor. I wish that the claws could open. I mean, come on, this is a scorpion uh, transformer. Well, not transformer, but this is a scorpion robot. Shouldn't his claws actually open? I mean, I know it's a small figure, but still. But those are pretty much the only complaints I can think of. So, do I, do I recommend this guy? Well, if you're a GoBots fan, then sure. I mean, Scorpio, it, I'm pretty sure Scorpio isn't really a major character. Um, but still, this is a cool looking figure. His Japanese name was cool. I mean, come on, Zarius is a, Zarius is a freaking awesome name. And, I mean, I, 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 I recommend it for that alone, but the fact that he's got a cool looking vehicle mode, he was in the, the, the series, I mean, he, he wasn't a major character, but he appeared in it a couple times. And the fact that this is a monster go bot, and they were the antagonist of Machine Robo in Japan. Those are the things that make me want to recommend this guy. But, well, if you want a more poseable figure, well, maybe just stick with Scorponok. Or even Black Zarek, since he has similar colours. But, if you don't mind how this guy doesn't really have good articulation, aside from the arms, then, yeah, I definitely do recommend this guy. But well, this has been this has been my review on GoBot Scorp, and this is Charlie Young signing off.